Hey guys, so I'm going to be doing some more tutorials, plus I've been getting um, requests. I put out a request video a few days ago and you guys commented, so thank you. But for today, I'm going to be doing an After Effects tutorial, obviously, and I'm going to show you guys how to do the shape thing. <laughs> Moves, like it starts at zero and like at the end it closes I don't know but anyway um and then I might later on show you guys how to do some more effects in this video but for now um so to start out with they're gonna um for the tutorial sake I'm just gonna use an image so anyway we are going to add text, um, so you can do this, you can hit text, put it anywhere you want, or I just do it this way. Because if you do it the way I just did, it puts it dead center, um, so that's usually why I do that. And then, um, just type whatever and the song that was in the video was blood in the cut so I'm just gonna put blood and change the font um I don't know just use that one I guess and then um what you wanna do just because it's before you start um, keyframing anything, um, it's good to put your anchor point in the center. And I usually do this with Animation Composer or the Motion V2 tool. If you don't have those, you can get them. The Animation Composer is free, but the Motion V2 tool isn't. But there is a way to get it for free if you so choose to do that. But the animation composer is free. So you could do a tutorial on that too. But it puts it in the center. And then we're going to let's see, I'm gonna highlight it so we can change the properties. Let's change the color. So I'm gonna match the color. This is blood, so I'll just put it red. That looks okay. That looks good. Okay. I love to put drop shadow on everything. So, when I usually want to put a plugin on something, I'll hit control and spacebar, and that brings up this little tool, and you can search for anything. You can also put hotkeys for the plugins that you use the most. And then if you go into settings, you have a, like a favorites list. Like I would highly recommend this if you use After Effects a lot and you use a lot of plugins, I suggest you use that. But um, the old fashioned way, you can click on the text, right click in this area, or go up to effects, but it doesn't matter which way you do it. And then I just got a drop shadow, let's see. Um, Perspective, drop shadow. That's the easiest way to do it. There are other ways to do that, but that is like the easiest. Um, you can border it if you want. You don't have to. You can change the opacity and change the color. Um, I like that actually. Actually, I like that. I don't know, but you do what you want. I don't like to blur it because it just it doesn't look good to me. Um, unless it's like an object, then I blur it. But maybe, and then I don't know. It's what you want. You can change the direction, but it's what you want. Okay, so now we got our text. Um. We're going to make a shape layer, and you come down here, 
right click new shape layer and then um, you come over here to the pen tool and it'll make a shape instead of a mask if you want straight lines make sure you hold down shift so make a point hold down shift and make a point a little past the word the yeah you know, the text and it will make it straight and then the same thing goes for um up and down just kind of it's shift uh we'll fix that don't worry and then we'll come over here not all the way but it's like half or quarter does it matter come right here and then see it's starting to feel so we're going to come up to feel click on the word and then um click on the none and then hit okay and we're gonna make it a stroke so we can make it however bold or tiny you want it's up to you I'm gonna make it right there I mean it depends on what kind of effects you're doing some some effects it looks nicer if it's tiny some effects it looks nicer if it's um, bold but today I'll leave it like that so, um, let's see, we'll change the color to the same color of the text. Just grab the, the, uh, the eyedropper and then hit, and there you go. And then, um, we're going to come to the text, click on the drop shadow and hit control C. That's going to copy it. And then we're going to click on the shape layer. And then we're gonna hit Control V, and then it will it'll paste the uh, drop shadow. That's pretty much it. I'm kidding. So if you want it to like do the movement or whatever you call it, you're gonna hit the drop down menu for the text or the shape layer, and then you're gonna go to where it says Add, and then click on trim paths and then you're gonna go to where it says trims trim paths hit the drop down menu and then see you where it says start end and offset you're gonna come to the very first frame and then you're gonna click on the start see this little time clock thing you're gonna click on it and that's going to set your first keyframe. And this, the first keyframe is where you want to end up. So you're going to go to about there. Not all the way, not halfway, but to about there or there. We'll keep it, eh, we'll keep it there. And then um, we're going to take this all the way to 100. And see it, you can't see it. If you click on this little thing right here, it takes away the the line. So you can see what you're doing. Also, you want to center the anchor point. Okay. So that's what that does. So if we play it back. You can see it moving. That's great. I usually almost every time, pretty much every time I do a keyframe, I easy ease it. So you kind of drag to select them both at the same time. And then you, you can hit F9. When I hit F9, it doesn't do it. So what I do is I right click, keyframe assistant, easy ease. And then you can, it'll, there's not much difference, but um, I like to go into the graph editor and then click on it and then take this and drag it. 
and then do the same thing with this end, you drag it to the same end, and then I'll play it back. And that makes it much more smooth. So, that's all great, but there's not much movement going on. So, what I do, I click on the text and I hit Alt, and then I also hit the um, shape layer, and then I right click, pre compose, uh, make sure this is checked. Don't check this, just keep this checked and then hit OK and then it puts all puts it all into one little layer comp and then you can move them both at the same time. Now see when I did that the keyframe is not in the center. It's in the center of the whole box but it's not in the center of the text. So we're gonna go up here to anchor point thing. Let's see, if you hit um, Alt, it's better to move it that way. And then we're going to hit S, and that's going to bring up a scale frame. But it's okay because this is about where I wanted to put it anyway. I think oh, there's fine. Come back over here. And then kind of make it smaller just a little bit. And then we're going to highlight both keyframes. Right click or press F9. Go to Easy Ease. And then we're going to come back to the graph. Oh, I forgot to mention. Make sure you're in the speed graph. Where's speed graph? Speed graph. Edit speed graph. So. We, like we did before, drag, drag, and that's basically it. And we can play it back. Doesn't that look lovely? That looks so good. That's basically the basis of it. Um, Any plugin or effect that you add to your clip, you can add to shapes, text, whatever. So let's see. See, I added some emboss and some gradient. So I guess we can do that. I'll add some emboss. Okay. And this is just the same as Vegas. If you have Sapphire for Vegas, you can just do whatever you want. Yeah, that was all right, I suppose. For the tutorial's sake. Okay, so we can also add gradient. I like to use sapphire gradient because you can adjust the um, combined mode or whatever, composition mode, whatever you want to call it. Um, multi, and then if you're going to use gradient, you don't want to color your shape or your text because otherwise the colors won't come through in the gradient. If you make this a composition, you can click on it and then it'll, it'll bring it up and then you can do further editing if you need to. So I'm going to make this white and make this white. And then whatever you do in here will transfer into this. So now you can see the gradient. Now I'll change the color. And then let's see, we can, I don't know, make it blue, I suppose. And then make sure you grab your 
selection tool without if you're done doing text or whatever and then kind of bring bring it in or make it whatever you know how to use gradient that's pretty much how to make this effect and you can do this with any shape you want it doesn't have to be a rectangle um i hope you learned something from this and um, if you have any questions let me know and I will be back soon with another tutorial.